Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Dell Inspiron 15 3000 series. The exact model for this one is a 3505 and the regulatory model is a P90F004. That information can be found inside the BIOS or on the sticker on the bottom of the laptop. In this video I'm going to go over how you can open it up and how you can add the extra storage and what are the combination of the storage that you can have and the limits and what are the uh, good ways of having a good proper storage in here. All right, just remember by replacing the main storage to a higher capacity, you have to install your Windows freshly installed. I made a short video how to create your Windows 10 or 11 USB boot drive. I made another video how to properly install it on any of your Dell laptop. Doesn't have to be this exact one. Check those in a link how to install Windows. You know, so you don't get those extra bloat words installed if you follow every step. It's important that you don't always follow every installation step, otherwise you get the bloat word installed in. Check those links in the video description. All right, for this video, we're just gonna do a demonstration. So first thing first, back up your files. If you haven't, if you don't need to, just don't. Power off the laptop, flip it upside down. We're gonna go over the tools I'll be using. A good screwdriver set. I highly recommend you guys the iFix screwdriver set. These are my favorites. You're going to be using a Torque number one. I mean, Torque, uh, Phillips number one from this tool set. If you get the Pro set, then we include you with an opening tools and some tweezers. But if you don't have the, you don't want to get the Pro set, just get the basic. And for the opening tools, I'll be using a Gitopic. And Metallic Gitopics are really suitable to opening cases and covers. Uh, Curved tweezers, so I would think it will be handy. And with these two on hand, we're going to get it started. Right, on the bottom here, we're going to see a whole bunch of screws. All these screws are the same size and height, except these two screws in the corner. We're not going to touch this one. We're going to leave them for the last, and I'll tell you why at the end. So go ahead and remove the two in the back mid side and four in the front row. And keep them in a one pile, as they are all the same. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. Appreciate that. All right, now that we removed all the screws on the bottom except the two corners. Now, the reason that we don't remove this one is because they have a little C-lock on the other side of the screw that will prevent the screw from coming out entirely. And the reason for the C-lock is to help you to separate the bottom case from the palm rest. So as soon as I start rotating this, you're going to see a gap opening right in there. And that's the magic of the C-lock. Once you start, you're hearing a few clicks right there, then you want to stop it. And do the same thing on this side, and you're going to see that gap right there. Now, you want to grab yourself the opening tool, and you want to stick it right about 2 or 3 millimeters of the topic inside the cover and then you just want to peel this cover up to the front end. You want to hear those nice big click sounds. That's what you want to hear. Those are the clips are getting loose. Work yourself to the side and the front. You don't need to do the back mid. As long as you do the front side, you can lift it up, work it around and it will release itself. And the C locks that I talk about, those are right over here. They are right on the neck of the, the screw. All right, now that we remove this one here, and you can see right away, there's a nice feature. They do give you any space for 2.5 inch uh, hard drive SATA. They have uh, the adapter, and they give you the screws for the caddy. So we're gonna go over this one, and on this side, I see an NVMe storage right in here. They do have an NVMe a short NVMe on it. You can put a full size NVMe. And the best NVMe's I'll recommend you guys are the Samsung 980 Pro. These are one of the best and durable SSDs and they are reliable. And you can put up to two terabyte NVMe in here and a two terabyte mechanical or a four terabyte solid state drive in here. The reason that you can put a four terabyte mechanical drive because the four terabyte mechanical drives are really check and it will not fit here. So you can put up to two terabyte because there will be a low profile 
and you can put it in here or a four terabyte 2.5 inch in solid state drive in this side and in here uh, two, at the same time a two terabyte NVMe which I recommend this one all right so before we I want to before we continue, I just want to be clarified that you don't need to remove the battery or disconnect it at all. It's absolutely not necessary. But for those people that are really paranoid and they just want it disconnected, there's a more risk of disconnecting this and putting it sideways in to fill your motherboard. But if you want it disconnected, put your fingers on the side of the jack and pull the jack backward straight. And that's how you can disconnect the battery. And to put it back in, it's straight in front of the jack. And what you want to do, you want to pinch it right inside the connector. But I recommend you guys leave it be. Right, to remove the NVMe storage right in here, first you need to remove this pitch spreader right here. There's a two screw that holds it, one on the side. Well, it has a C-lock on it too, that's nice. And the one on the back doesn't. So lift it up, bring it up, and there's a tiny hinge right in here and now you can pull it back in 45 degree angle there's your puny PCI Express NVMe which are really bad quality so once you get the good quality NVMe's there will be a long ties like this in a western digital all you want to do make sure the notch on it matches the notch under them and you want to bring it down in 45 degree angle inside the connector and lower it and you're going to see the screw hole and you can screw it in. You do not necessarily need to put this one in. I don't recommend you to put this heat spreader on because uh, there's a little riser on it and you can hit this board right in here. So for this one, you don't need anything. Just put the screw on top and done. And keep this one in a box where you purchase this laptop, right? And that's how you can add a two terabyte NVMe in here. Right, to put this one back in, just Push it down in 45 degree angle, bring it down, lock the screw on this side, and put the screw right at the end of it. Alright, then that's how you can remove or upgrade that one. Now, to remove this one and upgrade, we first we need to remove the caddy. To remove the caddy, you need to remove three screws. Two screws in the front of the caddy, and one screw at the back of the caddy. These are tiny screws. All right, once you remove this one, now you can lift up the caddy and you can see this screws right over here. This is screws that actually can come out com completely. So we're gonna use them. Remember the caddy was like that. And this tape right in here, you can just cut it. You don't need this tape. Now, let's say that you wanna put a mechanical drive or solid state drive, they're both the same interface. They'll have the same screw holes and they're all the same. So I'll show a demonstration for a good uh, solid state drive. So you wanna grab the caddy the same way that you picked up and you wanna keep this one upside down. This is top side, upside down because the connectors, the long connector, the SATA and power and SATA connector right in here, they have to match. So before we put it inside here, I'll put it right inside the caddy and you want to grab these screws and you want to screw them on the side of the caddy, the four screw that came with it. And I highly recommend you guys to install your windows on your NVMe, which is much, much faster than this SATA. Now you want to bring it in, don't stress this cable because it has a lot of tiny flex cable. I'll bring it down, I'm bringing the disc towards the connector and you could remove the battery to have more real estate. So I'm gonna show you guys that so you guys don't damage your connector. So remove one, two, three screws that touches the battery. You don't need to disconnect it, just remove the screws. Once you remove the screws, you can just lift up the battery here. There's a clip down here, slide it and put it to one side like that. Now you can see this connector that I was talking about. You can bring it up, there's a tape on it. And you can connect it, grab it, and connect it nicely inside there. And put the carry in place. And put the three screws for the carry. That way you don't damage the flex cable for your hard drive. 
All right, now you can bring back the battery without disconnecting it. Put the corner this side down under the hinge and put the three screw that you removed. And that's how you can upgrade and remove the storage for your Dell Inspiron 15 3000 series. Now, want to finish it off, all you need to do is to grab the bottom cover, bring it up straight. You don't want to push the corners in, just keep them slightly over like that and just tighten on the screw, let the screw do the job, and the screw is going to pull the cover to itself. Same thing on the other side. And there we go. Now, all you need to do is push the back side down, make sure you those nice click sounds on the side, big clicks in the front, in the corner. There we have it. Now it's all in place, and to finish it off, put the bottom screws right on top. Again, I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out. Your own upgrade for your Dell Inspiron 15 laptop. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Just gonna finish up putting up the bottom screws.